Hey guys, this is Egan from the past, and today I'm going to be showing off um, how to make Sonic's signature chili. Um, this recipe, or this chili, takes about four hours to cook, so that's why this is Egan from the past. So, first off, I'm going to read all the ingredients quickly. I already washed my hands, so we're good with that. So the green seeded, we need one onion, quartered, um, one, one yellow bell pepper, whole, and I washed the vegetables already too, you always want to wash them, one red bell pepper, whole, um, one jalapeno pepper, whole, alright, we got one poblano pepper, whole, really big pepper by the way, alright, and then we have olive oil, right here, and then we got uh, kosher salt. We have ground black pepper. We got six garlic cloves. Just a big garlic right here. Uh, two pasolian peppers, steamed and seeded. Uh, I said I couldn't find those peppers. Those are really hard to find, so I'm just using two poblano peppers, which is kind of the same as pasolian peppers. So that's what I'm using for that. Same with the one malto pepper, steamed and seeded. I'm just using another poblano pepper because I couldn't find those peppers, at least around me or around my area. I couldn't. Six ounces of tomato paste, which is right here. About seven or about six ounces, so I got that. Tomato paste. Um, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes, which is about six medium. Tomatoes I got right here. Um, and then we need two pounds of ground beef, which I have over here thawing. I'll probably have to thaw in the microwave, but two pounds of ground beef. Um, let's see here. We need two tea, two teaspoons of kosher salt. Oh, now it's telling me the how much we need for each one. Before I was just listing them up. One teaspoon of uh, black pepper, grounded. Um, two tablespoons of ground cumin. Um, two tablespoons of chili powder. Right here. All right. Uh, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Right here. Um, we got one tablespoon of brown sugar. I just got some light brown sugar here. Um, one tablespoon of ground coffee. Some ground coffee, that would be interesting. Uh, one tablespoon of Wilshire sauce, right there. Um, one 15 ounce can of dark, dark red kidney beans and rinse, which I got right here, dark red kidney beans. Um, and then two bay leaves. For flavor here, I got some bay leaves. So, awesome. So, first steps in making this recipe is we need to preheat the oven to 450. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, preheat the oven. 450. Hit my lucky y'all, I'm lucky. 450. It's preheating, perfect. Place the onion, yellow bevels, and a little on a baking sheet. Okay, I gotta get a baking sheet, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead, put it on a baking sheet. Put the peppers in, so I gotta cook them up a little bit. This is my baking sheet. I have a parchment paper. Thank 
fold it on and move. There we go. Okay, y'all, we are getting this camp nice and good. There we go. Ta-da! Okay, that'll be our baking sheet. So, we need to place the onion, bell pepper, red bell pepper, jalapeno pepper, and poblano pepper on the baking sheet, and they want those peppers whole. So, poblano pepper, you just want to pull just like that, place on the sheet. Same with the red and yellow peppers and the jalapeno pepper. They didn't say anything about cutting it up, it just says whole. So, I'm going to do that. Okay, we need the onion quartered though, so I do need to cut that up, I believe. Okay, let's do that. Let's quarter it under and then go ahead and bring you guys right on over. All right, y'all, I'm here at the cooking board here and we're gonna go ahead and quarter an onion here. So, first things first is we're just gonna chop down the middle of this onion using the, try and using the pinching claw technique here. Right down the middle. Not doing anything yet. This is how I kind of learned it anyway. Be careful, the onion is kind of tough, which I'm learning that right now. There we go. There we go. Okay. There you go. I cut right through there. That was tough. Ooh, go stick. Okay. Then I'm gonna chop off these weird, ugly bits because nobody likes them. I'm going to sharpen my knife a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to peel some of the skin off here until we get to the fleshy bit. I never recorded an onion before. I, I kind of just, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I just looked up a quick YouTube tutorial. And we're good to go. I'm going to go one layer deep into that because this stuff's kind of more. This is more of a flesh, if you want to call it that, I guess. <laughs> Onions do got layers. The smell of the onion is insane. They sometimes make me cry. It depends how, I guess, crazy the onion is. Some onions make me cry, some don't. It just depends, I guess, how strong they are and if they have, like, seeds or not. This one, I'm going to go an extra one. Perfect, we got these shapes. We're just gonna cut into the middle of the onion so we can get nice um, wedge shapes. Hold on this one. I might go on another one. We can get the good part of the onion. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. 
like those band of wedge shapes like so. Those are two wedges. And another two engine or er, wedges. So these look good. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them on our sheet here. So bring you guys on over. on our little baking pan that we're gonna put in the oven because we're gonna roast these peppers in the oven. Just gonna put these quarter pieces right on here with them. That. Oven's still preheating, 325 right now it's at. There we go, that's our little baking sheet. Oh yeah, guys. So. On the baking sheet, we got our poblano pepper, our two bell peppers, our jalapeno, and our quartered onions. Guys, so now we have all of our stuff on the lovely baking pan over here. We are gonna go ahead and do our next step, which is we need to brush with olive oil and season with salt and pepper. So, brush with olive oil. I'm gonna grab a brush out of here. Let's see, we have a brush. There we are. Okay. So, maybe. Got this brush, and we're gonna go ahead and brush them with our olive oil and season with salt and pepper. So, it's got olive oil here. I'm gonna take a little bowl so we can easy make. Make it easier to brush the olive oil so we can find the middle of the little. Actually, I might just use this. It's nice and small. Let's use this little uh, measuring cup. And I just put a bit of olive oil in here. Well, I did like 50 milliliters. With our brush, and we're brushing nicely with our olive oil. With salt and pepper. Um, the leaves he's in with salt and pepper baked in. Okay. That's why they did. Whatever. They didn't say how much we needed before. So I'm just gonna season these with salt and pepper, so I'm just gonna just sprinkle the salt in the tray. That looks so cool guys. Look at me go. <laughs> okay. We'll sprinkle with salt, we'll sprinkle pepper. Gotta be careful with this one, it's gonna be up fast. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so we brush olive oil, we sprinkled with salt and pepper. Uh, and we're gonna go ahead and bake for 25 minutes, flipping over. Uh, flipping everything over and add the garlic cloves to the tray. Bake for another 15 minutes. Add the garlic cloves to the tray. Bake for another 15 minutes or until the peppers have softened and started to blacken. Okay. Perfect. So once this is done preheating, which is pretty much there, we are going to bake for 25 minutes. So this chili does take a little while to make if you guys haven't, um, can't tell already. But I hope it'll be super delicious. Roasting some veggies. Oh, I forgot to pick up this pizza pan. Smell it. Put some in there. Alright. Alright, 25 minutes. Set the time. Okay, 25 minutes going. 
while that's going, I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup. It's always good to make sure you kind of clean up after yourselves as you go. All right, y'all, we're here with our garlic. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do our tricks. So first things first, we wanna put our body weight on it. So I'm just gonna <laughs> I put some of my body weight on it. I got one piece off here. I'm gonna peel that off. Get our core end here. Core ends we're gonna... Actually, I can just like peel each little bit off. Actually, yeah, it's peelable. There you go. Once you get the skin, it's nice peelable. I'm gonna put that little edge off. It smells like garlic too. There's one of our garlic pieces. I believe we need six of them. Yeah, six garlic cloves. So I got one clove. Yeah, we got our six pieces of garlic. Voila, y'all. There's some leftovers, so I might just kind of put these in like a Ziploc bag, maybe, and use them for any other recipes that we'll be making. So, perfect. Got our six pieces of garlic. All right, kind of complete. Got it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take them out. Take the veggies on out. Ooh. Oh yeah. They're getting cooked already. They're nice and golden brown. I'm gonna place on here. Okay. We have to flip everything over. Let's see, how should I put these over? Kind of make do, I don't have any tongs. Yeah. Smells really good, guys. over nicely, They're all flipped over, lovely. <laughs> then we need to add the garlic cloves. We're gonna cook, I'm gonna cook, it says 15 minutes, but mine's, they're darkening pretty fast, so I'm just gonna do 10. I'm just gonna add the garlic cloves, like just throughout. Perfect. Then we're gonna put them back in, we'll do another 10 minutes. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. The veggies are done. I'm gonna just turn that off. Thank you. 
out. Set them on here for now. Okay. We're gonna let them cool for a little bit, because then once they're cool, we're gonna have to remove the skins, stems, and seeds from the peppers. We're gonna have to dice all the rest of the vegetables and set them aside. And I go ahead, I already went ahead and started defrosting the ground beef needed for the chili. Um, so I started that, have it going for about 17 minutes on time defrost. Because we have to brown that later. And then I already got the pots out. I have this for the other peppers that we're gonna have to do, and then I have this also for the other peppers that we'll have to do. Because we have to steam them and warm them up a little bit. And I also got a blender out, because we will need a blender for um, the tomato paste and peppers and stuff like that. So, we will have to do that. So, now it's just kind of a waiting game. So I'll be back and we will start cutting those veggies. All right, you guys. So it's been a little bit. Everything kind of cooled down, so. And then I'm gonna bring everything over to the cutting board here. We got the onion. I'm gonna start with the easy stuff. I'm gonna chop up the garlic and onion. Might have to let them cool a little bit more because they are still steaming a little bit. It looks like. We got the ginger. They go on the floor. We'll start with those and then we will cut the peppers. So, with these, they just want it chopped up nicely. So, with the garlic, I'm gonna just put all the garlic in here and chop it up. There we go. Nice and easy. Garlic is nice and easy to chop up. The ginger, sorry. Yeah, it's garlic, not ginger, sorry. I get those confused. Garlic, all nice and chopped up. See if I can run this off the board. Perfect, okay. Then we got these onions here. So I think I can just put one quarter in each one. This works nicely, guys. I recommend if you don't have one of these, get them, they're super cool. Onion and ginger. Just putting them in a container for now because we'll on the side and save them for later. We'll take some of the bottom stuff that not get quite chopped up as well. I don't want that whole thing. I gotta put the peppers in here. Let me chop these pieces off a little bit. Well, that's kind of the skin part. I actually might just throw this. It's not gonna do me any good. We're just gonna throw it, y'all. Okay. Perfect. Now we're gonna cut the peppers, which we will do here. So onion and ginger are all in here nicely. Alright, 
up with a jalapeno here. So we need to chop off the stem. We need to get them de-seeded. So I'm gonna get a smaller knife for this. So it's easier to just de-seed them. So I just kind of like go inside, I cut the stem off, and then go inside and cut the seeds out as best as I can. With jalapenos, it's hard because the seeds are kind of all in there. But And I'm okay with a little bit of seeds, it adds spiciness. So if there is some seeds, I'm honestly okay. Any bit of seeds, but nothing crazy. Nothing crazy at all. This pepper, the pabuleno. Well, that was easy to take off the stem. And honestly, there's honestly not that many seeds in here. Which is good. Guess it has some skin. Just gonna remove that. Kind of like a fish. Just clean it off. Perfect guys, we have most of the mixture except I just have the bell peppers left and then we have our mixture so I'm going to do a tiny bit of cleanup and we'll go from there. Okay guys, I'm going to cut the stems off of this. These are really watery by the way. This must still be kind of near it. Okay. Holy moly. We need to drain the water out of these. Okay. Thanks our movie crews here, y'all. I'm gonna have Peepa do this because he's better at me. Or better than me. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Alright guys, I have better uh, cutter, our professional cutter Peepa. What's up, Peepa? Uh, everything. 
everything, okay? I always say that. Sure. <laughs> so yeah, you can go ahead and continue with my mess. When you cut these, they're like water inside, so I'd be careful because mm -hmm. there's like water all over. But so what do you need? How do you You just need to chop up, chop them up. You can use this. Okay. And then put them in here. I just needed them de-seeded and uh, the stem removed, and if there's like some skin, I guess remove that as well. Did they need to be cooked? Yep, I cooked them. Oh, already. they had to be? Yeah, they had to be. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm currently... That's tougher. There. And I have to How small do you want them in? Uh, as small as you can get them, whatever the fit in here. Oh, just chop them. Chop them. Yeah. Okay, here to brush them up pretty good, then. Uh, just not chopped up though, just in slices. Oh, I forgot to chop these. Oh yeah, those are going to get chopped up. Okay, I'm redoing that's this. That's a tablespoon. Tablespoon, yeah. That's a tablespoon. You needed these chopped. This is a little bit of a tablespoon. You might need it. Two spoons and then I cut.
Are Gordon Ramsay pants? Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. Isn't he like that angry bird that he does with people? Uh, yeah. yeah. These are his branded pants. There you go! That's a good piece. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> no, it says dry. It'll have to go in the water after. Okay. So until fragrant did, it says heat until fragrant did. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Isn't it? So if it's on high, it's going to do the yeah. snapping it's until... Right now. Right? Until it yeah, until... Uh, it figures itself out. Can I just clean that today? Eat it. You won't. I'm gonna step up. <laughs> I get it so we have there. to cook the peppers. Right. Uh, until toast, until fragrant. About 50 minutes per side. Oh, two, three minutes per side? Yeah, so you gotta let them set two minutes and flip them. Use this one, that one makes sense. Then you have to pour water in there. Then... Okay, I'm gonna flip some of them. Yeah, flip them over, let's see if... Because you don't want to use a metal What did they say it was going to do? You tell fragrant? Fragrant, yeah. Sweet odor. Sweet odor. Yep. Okay, we got an odor. Okay, so we kind of roll back. Yeah, it's almost there. So you got to simmer it at that to high heat. We need them in there with water. How much water we need? That's other cover. Okay. You want it in here? Yep. And we'll cover that with water. And we're gonna simmer it in high heat. Does it say how much water we need? Just so it's covered. You wanna spread those out more maybe, Pipa? Yep. Flatten. So it covers the boat. Yeah, flatten them. There you go. Flattens. Alrighty guys, so I have uh, Cam and Terry oh. joining me, hey. um, helping me make the chili because I'm slow apparently. Yes. And I'm going to have them measure all these dry ingredients, so we'll have them measure uh, salt, pepper, cumin, chili powder, all that good stuff. So I can get you guys, it looks like you will need... Cups, ounces, tablespoons, teaspoons. Teaspoons, tablespoons. Cups, Those. Uh, just not chopped up though, just in slices. Oh, oh yeah, those are gonna get chopped up. Okay, oh, that's a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Yep, that's a tablespoon. This is one good Sam tablespoon. And then a cup. And I have to only need like ounce wise. Do we need one cup? Or we need ounces, like ounces and some of these. Oh, I see, yeah. Well, the can's already measured. Yeah. The can's that size. So I think we're pretty much there. Okay, yeah, so we're just measure Yeah. So start right here. Add and right. measure all of us. Okay, one bead. Salt. I have the bead, which I have to cook that first. Okay, and then we're gonna add the
sauce. Mix until well combined. Okay, I'll get a whisk. Gabe, yeah, you want to mix it or should I mix it? Because at least it's... I think I'll mix it. Alright, so I'll put this guy stored up. You want to pass me your measuring spoon? I might as well do some cleaning. Keep it place organized. Yeah, we'll set that aside for now. I'm it down. Remove the peppers from the water and transfer to a blender. Well, we had to let it rest for 10 minutes, so just let it chill out. Oh, right there. Right there. Alexa, set a timer for 8 minutes. Alexa. Okay. Half a dice. Oh, people, I need you to dice tomatoes. Yep. Yeah. You get all that. I didn't rinse these yet. Oh. You won't be mad if you're hurt. There's some fancy knives. Okay. Where's the candle from? You got one. Yeah, it's really small. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Tasty. Tasty. Oh, you probably why it's called that. You don't need that yet. I'm still going for these. So yeah, sure. Tasty. Add the tomato paste and half dice of tomatoes. Okay. Does so someone want to use a spoon and spoon that into the blender? Yeah, you could. Can yeah. you want to do that? Would you be able to do it, Dusty? I think I can. by Terry. What? Just use a spoon and Oh, like normal spoon? Yeah. I'm gonna call yeah. my, uh, my yeah. Nah. I actually don't have them memorized. I know I'm lucky. You're lucky. There's Ringo, there's Dusty, and then there's whatever my name is. I don't even know my name. High class. <laughs> I don't remember my own name. I got this set up. I should probably just leave this here. Keep us dicing tomatoes. And then I'm the blender be, uh, is... As soon as they clean the seeds out. Blenders are over there. It's okay. all right on. That's nice. Egan, you're supposed to edit, not be cutting up meat with that butter knife. Do your job, Egan. We had enough camera view. You need to mix it around, I think. I mean, I'm not so picky because the spoon is too long.
We did try the grind. It didn't well, work. I didn't really fully try it. Oh. So, I you should try it. Because that'll make it. It'll make things move more. Back to back. No, you're not eating that. That's nasty. That was actually pretty warm. You gotta heat a dot pot, deep pot, over medium heat, medium high heat, add the ground beef, and cook it in the brown. Well, I guess I can get going on that. I can start cooking the brown stuff. The beef? Oh, it'll help a little bit. Oh, clean that up. Whoa! Yeah, you're dripping blood everywhere. We're gonna have to get clean up on our aisle, whatever. I'm gonna clean up the aisle I want. Okay, we'll get rid of these. Chef Ringo dicing our tomatoes for Egan's. And yeah, I already soup. cut cut some. They were actually well, exactly. Not very convincing, Egan. Hi. Take a number of sniff of the seasoning. Hmm. I wonder. What would Egan think? He's being a goofus over there again. And Peepa's doing Peepa things. Oh yeah. Good, good y'all. It's the only way to do it. Peepa way. Got you, Cam. Got you, Lack. Hey, we have time. Maybe, uh, here, come over here with the camera. I can camera read the Sonic <clears throat> quotes. Oh, can't have any chili dog without chili, right? Sure. You can have it when it's own. There's a bunch of recipes in this book. You could add this chili, too. But before you do, before you go to wild, let me remind you. Chili dogs, feel free to exp experiment, but don't forget this tried and true perfection. Hot dogs are better. Wait, if you get a hot dog cold, is it a chili dog? Cause it's I don't like corn dogs. Chili? Yeah, because it gets cold, so it'll be chili. Yeah, but it'll be chili spelled with him. <laughs> yeah, but think about it. All right, Cam, you want to add the... If a hot dog gets cold, like shouldn't it be called a chili dog because it's cold? Thing. Eighth time? We got to put a counter in the corner. Right. Gotta... One last time. Nine. <laughs> Ugh. Adios. Adios. Now we're gonna go. Perfect. 
Eva's doing a fantastic job dicing tomatoes over there. Love it. And Egan's stirring up the meat. And Cameron put the seasoning That is now seasoning by Cam. Cam the man. Or Dusty, because he's Dusty. Right? Whatever nickname you want. It smells really good. That's because me and Cam made the seasoning. If you made it, it would have smelled weird. <laughs> yeah, probably. Even though people think it smells weird, I don't know. I do think it smells weird. You should show people they see tomatoes. He did or um, some more. I love people they see tomatoes. No. I, I, I got enough. Just ask Terry. I mean, they're tomatoes, though. They're just tomatoes. We need more. I mean, why do we need oh, yeah. it? Why do we need this a video on tomato? Because tomatoes are good fruits. Pretty sure they're a fruit, right? All right, we need to mix the roasted vegetables. Which I'm gonna drink some of that water. I don't. Is tomato considered a fruit or a vegetable? Pretty sure it's a fruit. I consider it. Yeah. Now you think a tomato should be classified as a fruit or vegetable? You can put it in. Like people said. Uh, Terry, come on over. Yeah, right. add the vegetables. Oh, lovely. Perfect. Wait, they're dry. from the oh. Okay. <laughs> they're good for you because add the diced tomatoes and then we can add the blend pepper mixture. Can we? Can I just add it now? Yeah, I can add that and then people will add his uh, tomatoes. Tomato stock. Thank you. Alright. Dump. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> slimy. That, that kind of looks like cocoa weeks. The brown smoothie. If you ever had them, they're pretty good. Yeah, this doesn't look that red. <laughs> you not, well, he didn't add the tomatoes yet, that's right. Why. You didn't put the red food okay. color in that we don't need. Let's see how Peepa's progress is doing. Just well done. It's getting pretty good. Cam's doing yeah, some dishes. Alright, and then for <laughs> flavor we have to add two... <laughs> oh, Commando Cam from previous videos. Oh, <laughs> I, I, like, I like that one. Uh, you, you, can say, you said his Captain name Cam wrong. Commando goes first. Yep. Who's second? Yo, Toxic, Toxic Pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. <laughs> goes second. And... Who's third? <laughs> Electrifying Elf. Yeah, the short the and the Commando last. Cam. The Captain the Cam. Last. You never know. <laughs> 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 Commando Captain. Captain, Captain Cam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a blooper. Like that. ca Commander Cam, not Count Mando Cam. Yeah, Cam. Can leave for well, you know <laughs> Ready for the diced tomatoes? Yep, add them in. This just doesn't look as red as I was hoping, but it's fine. Probably the tomato juice. That could be more like brown, I guess. Could the tomato juice like help impact it though? Maybe. They, they look like, nice and juicy, so. Yeah. They are juicy. That's what I'm saying before. Ready? Oh. Oh. Egan. You gotta understand some of that those foods in those like ads or commercials are like made from like art pieces, they're not actual food. Yeah. We got our chili here and we got Lucky or Egan turn it up. Yeah. It's not really that still looks pretty good, but it has to simmer for four hours now. So we added all of that. Finally, add the bay leaves, cover it in reduced heat to low. Simmer for four hours, stirring once every hour. And then once cooked, we'll remove and discard the bay leaves and enjoy it for two dishes. Mm -hmm. That is not the right size. For an hour. Alexa, set a timer for an hour. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Cool. So and we'll have that go four times and we'll stir it once that hour goes up. So hopefully it tastes good. Alright guys, that's the chili. Uh, most of it anyway, and we'll just let that cook. See ya!